Meet the Sydney funnel web, Consider the most dangerous spider in the world. It's the only spider known to have killed children in less than two hours. They're also intrepid explorers, known to travel long distances, often into suburban homes. This is the female of the species, armed with massive fangs and carrying venom of extraordinary potency. These funnel webs are cunning intruders. They'll seek out hideaways that are sheltered, refuges that are cool and humid, like this basket of washing. And once inside and free to roam, they'll again take cover. It's a scene that could occur anywhere across much of coastal New South Wales, their known range. And the worst of it is, they love to hide in clothing and bedding and shoes. It is truly terrifying to encounter one this way. Most fatalities from funnel web spiders are happening over a period of several hours rather than minutes. Dr John Morgan knows all about funnel webs. He's head of emergency services at Sydney's Royal North Shore Hospital and supervises the treatment of hundreds of bite victims. Most of the uh, burrowing spiders, they are poisonous. They've got big fangs, a good delivery system, and uh, certainly all of the burrowing spiders are quite deadly to their normal prey. Uh, interestingly, the funnel web happens to be uh, deadly to some humans as well. So deadly is the funnel web that 13 people died before anti-venin was introduced 20 years ago. One two-year-old victim died in just 15 minutes. What the toxin does is it binds to the nerve cells and it causes massive release of neurotransmitters within the body. That causes release of adrenaline, causes your heart to race, causes your blood pressure to go up, you get anxiety. Uh, you get nervous, you get a tremor, you get all that sort of stuff. But as well as that, it also fires off what are called the parasympathetic system. Now think of any gland in the body that secretes things. With a funnel web bite, you'll get massive outpouring secretions from that gland. So that combination of massive fluid outpouring into the lungs together with muscle paralysis leads to respiratory failure. The lady's freaking out. There's a spider on my floor. My daughter's nearly got bitten, so as quickly as we can, we capture the spider because they are extremely venomous and we don't want anyone getting bitten. Was it dire has a deadly job. When killer spiders are found in suburban homes, he has to collect them. They can go under the couch, in the bedroom, in the laundry, all places like that, and once they're gone, they're black, they just blend in. It's a pretty scary thing knowing you've got a venomous spider lurking in your house. Hey, how you doing? I'm Walter. Hey, come on in. Thank you. So you got a killer in the house? Certainly have. There's a spider in the shoe. Okay. They don't like the heat, and that's how she's ended up in your house. Oh yeah, there's a big spider in there. Lucky you didn't get bitten by this thing. Out you come. Ooh, look at it go. Now these animals are ferocious and fast. Now most people think that's the best way to capture them. It can be dangerous too. And I'll show you why. If you miss the jar and you're not paying attention, your fingers are there, you're going to get bitten straight away. Now the way you find out if you've got a funnel web, they usually have a webbing about the size of this around the outside of the burrow. Say a bug comes walking through and touches that web that's around there. It sends all these vibrations down into the burrow where the female's laying. As soon as she feels that, straight out as quickly as she can, as she comes out straight out of the burrow, whack, and really crushes in those fangs. It's pretty scary business. Oh, that's exactly what we're talking about, the perfect strike stance. Now watch her as she strikes down. Whack, whack, down those fangs come. And when you come, sweetie, really standing back, give her a bit of a nudge, and in she goes. It's always important, you just be patient. You don't want to get bitten by this venomous animal. It's actually good that you didn't kill this spider. Too many people freak out and get the spade and whack, straight on the top of the head. So that's excellent that we've saved it, so we can use this girl in a very useful manner. Was's job today is by no means over. He has to take the funnel web back to the Australian Reptile Park to milk it. 
collecting toxic venom that will be later used to treat people who've been bitten by other funnel webs. This is the girl that we've just caught up. Look at those eight legs moving. And the reason we stir them up is because we need, yes, that's exactly what we want. Just tiny little drops of water-like substance. That's her venom and that's exactly what we're going to be extracting. People think that's cruel doing that. But see how her fangs, oh yeah, her fangs are exposed. That's exactly what we need. It's the only way she can strike out. There's tiny little droplets coming off there. Oh yeah, sucking straight up into this pipette. This exercise is extremely dangerous. She could fly off at any moment she wants. Turn, locate me and come straight towards us. Now it's the male's venom. That's six times more toxic than this female here. The male has what we call petty palps. Now those petty palps constantly supply sperm and what the male will do is he'll lay a web about the size of a 20 cent piece. He'll deposit all his sperm in there, he attracts the female, pins her down, lines those petty palps underneath and inserts them into the female genitalia and that's how a spider breeds. And this is the tricky part. As soon as the male's done his business, she tries to eat the male and he's got to be quick. He's not quick, he's food. We're collecting this venom, sucking into this pipette and flush this venom out of this device with acidic acid, freeze it and send it straight down to the Commonwealth Serum Laboratory. And they freeze dry it and make it into anti venine for everybody if they ever get bitten by a funnel web spider. Back at the hospital, Dr. Morgan has some strong advice if you're ever bitten. Look, I think the most important breakthrough in treatment of funnel web bite is the anti venom, but maybe even more important than the anti venom is first aid if you get bitten. If you can confine the venom to the bite site, then you're not going to get sick. And you do that by using a bandage. Compress what's called the lymphatic system with the bandage. So you should start with the bandage nice and firm, a bit like bandaging a sprained ankle. Start at the bite site, which is usually on the hands or feet. Go all the way up to the armpit. And then put some sort of splint on if you like, but keep the limb still and then get to hospital. The incidence of envenomation from these spiders is probably less than 10%. But if you happen to be one of that, five to 10% is gonna get sick. You can get very sick and very quickly.